Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Achilles. Um This will be episode 3 I guess. Uh, last time we were like just exploring a bit. And we were like finding a new axe. I guess we already upgraded this one. Right, damn, let me see. Is actually we're supposed to teleport. Yeah, because last time we've been here and we encountered this... It was like an invisible enemy or something. I don't know if maybe later on in the story we're gonna be able to fight him. But because I didn't saw him, I was like focusing on some dogs or wolves. And suddenly I was like getting hit by uh, two slashes. And I was like, nah. Just because the guy was invisible, I don't know, maybe the during the story we're gonna find out something about them or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's keep moving on. We have, we can explore this area though. I'm gonna try to teleport myself there. Can't really teleport right now because we are in a combat. Potion. Oh, I hate this lock. Fucking target, you know, is like pretty lame. wrong with them as soon as they see us they they are telling us to don't kill them oh, the fuckers can stun lock us so actually the spears are not very bad but they are fighting just one guy that's the thing because actually all of them are attacking me so you know what i mean it's like for a single target it's perfect Suck your sail and wrong with this guy apparently he just died okay so they took him you understand they took him away from me calm down and tell me what happened a couple of days ago soldiers came to our home they were looking for valuables where the hell would i get them from when i have barely anything to eat after they didn't find anything they took an interest in my boy they said he's in the prime of his life. He must join the army. I knew that if I gave him to them, I'd lose him forever. I stood up to them, but I barely made it out alive. You're acting like common bandits, not soldiers. Where will I find them? These rascals are still occupying our house. Maybe my boy is still there? Let's try to put... I hope you, you guys are... You could hear that. This guy is uh, like the soldiers took took his son and basically basically kidnapped him, I guess. Uh, they wanted me. Oh, yeah. So the dual wielders can do a lot of damage. We can like poison them, that's the easiest way. I guess we'll... The easiest way to poison is just like... To... Okay, so this one was like quite easy. If you... If you... If it's just one, you can just like... Spam it with the heavies. I don't know what's wrong with my weapon because not both of them are connecting. I guess because I'm not really running. 
Sometimes maybe I'm using just the heavy. I guess so. Why I'm going in that? You can go here. Okay, so it's a it's another question mark there. So. But we can like try to. Yeah, these weapons are like decent now. I really like the them two weapons. Yeah. Yeah, like the enemies have uh, are no challenge right now. Is this the house the desperate father mentioned? Sing it, boys. No, we are going on the right direction, basically. But why? Ah, okay, we. Ha okay, so the quests are not automatically updating, like. It knocked me down like two times in a row. These guys with the shield are so fucking annoying. I swear to god. They can just block. Using a skill, like I said in the previous episode. Using a skill then cancels the damage the enemy is supposed to. Bro, but these guys are just annoying. These are pathetic, bro. Fucking get fucking decapitated, you piece of shit. It's like so pathetic, I swear to god. Imagine fighting like three of them at the same time, you know? Mechanic wise, they are like just lame as fuck, I swear to god. We have a new weapon, I guess it's a shit one. But yeah, wait a second, because I don't get it. It's like. If we complete these ones. Go to the bridge, okay, and this is the second. Fine. Ah, oh, we still have this one as well. Is that the cellar? Ah, so basically we just came to the, the right place, actually. I was just coming because I saw the, the question mark earlier. Oh, how many fucking enemies are here? Them will die to poison, I guess. And the rest of them will die. They, will, they will just die. So oh, another big one. I don't like fighting in the corridors, but what was this? You know what I mean? What's this? I can knock you down, you motherfucker. That's how you are fighting me, bitch. It's a, uh, it's annoying, you know, to get like oh, two of them. It's annoying to get knocked down like most of the times during a fight, you know. It's it's decent when you are fighting one enemy, but as soon as you are fighting like more of them, where the other one went? Because now I was expecting now like to be knocked down a lot. Apparently the other one run back. I don't like fighting in these small places or in these corridors. He set himself on fire. So fire is doing 10 damage over time. But the effect is going out extremely fast. So I don't I really don't know. This, this is the guy. Your father sent me to rescue you. Are you alright? Yes, I, I guess so. I already thought they got him and I wouldn't see him ever again. Seems that it's safe here now. Find shelter in a safe place. And I'll send him to you shortly. All right, sir. Okay, 
So let's go back to the other guy. Let's just continue with the main story because right now I'm feeling like I'm deviating so much from the main quest with all this exploration and all these things. Have mercy. The citizens in this game are pretty dumb. Your son is safe and sound. Join him and run away from here. Greece is no longer a safe place. Thank you for everything, stranger. Yes, we'll do that. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. He gave, gave us like two marinated. They can still do a lot of damage if you get hit like two times. The HP is just going down like extremely fast. I'll beat you. There we go. This will be easier than I thought. That amount of damage. This is just lame. I I don't know how I can deflect that shit. Or if I can deflect it. Tuck your tail and run. Oh, he's using the brazier. How is this called? I guess it's called Brazier. Brazier or something like that. I think he was lighting his uh, arrow up. Or he wanted to light his arrow up. Next time I'm gonna let him do his magic just to see what's, uh, what's the deal with that. Okay, what the fuck is here? I saw a seller up on the corner. The like these guys. When they are knocked down, I'm missing my attack. I guess if I'm locking target, it's better because all of them will connect. Oh, another seller. idiot archer he's like doing so much damage just sitting there and shooting arrows here we have two okay, i want to deny that damage because apparently
I'm uh, I'm rushing through. Just because I'm like I was telling you yesterday about uh, that new game Banisher. I really want to start playing that. I have a, pre a friend which start playing it and he said like yeah the game is worth it. It has a nice story like and uh, they told me like the combat is interesting and beside this the game is extremely challenging or, or at least for, from what he said I don't know anyway this game is we are like just on the beginning of it so Let's see if we explored everything in this, because I don't want to come back, so... Yeah, I think, I think we explored. Go out. It's been a while since I've seen a shrine. Get the horse, son! Yeah, and they're like... These guys are so pathetic, they are swearing on you. And after a while, it's just getting annoying. Uh, calling you a horse, son. It's like just a bit. Because all what they can say is like, get that horse, son. Kill that son of a bitch. Kill that bastard. So, the game becomes very repetitive. It was interesting to give them more than three lines, you know. If I'm starting swearing on you on my language, bro, I can do that for half an hour without repeating myself, you know what I mean? So. Okay, let's see what else. Here's something, but it's better or nothing. Yeah, I saw earlier like okay what the fuck is this anyway we cannot reach it so at one point we need to come back just to double check everything Somebody. but here we have another cellar here we have a dual wielder there oh my god look at the amount of damage they I want his moveset. Because this guy has like the dual wielders, some of the dual wielders, like the enemy dual wielders, have like some nice moveset. Plenty of skeletons. <laughs> Speaking something like a recipe, or it was a note, something like. Oh, what the fuck is that? I was about to say I want to see a new type of enemy because I'm already. Okay, so because. Okay. So that cow is biting when you are getting close, huh? You can kite it. Yeah. Because if you don't go to attack her... I guess she will spit again, yeah. She has quite a bite. We are leveling extremely fast in this game. 
interesting. Well, it's a rare one. Uh, let's see the how it's feeling. Let me use a potion first. And after now, let's see what we got there. Oh, we got this one. Minus 56 and plus 22. So basically, this one is causing burn. Let me see if I'm equipping this in the main hand now. Sets us changed. Yeah. I still want the poison because the I saw earlier the burn was doing like 10 damage. And it tick like for three seconds, four seconds maybe. Besides this, I want to, to have the fast attacks, you know what I mean? And with this weapon, this, this secondary weapon, I don't know. It's uh, doing loads of damage. Actually, let me test it like this. I want to see how effective is the fire. Maybe it's... Uh, Kill the bastard. Yeah, the damage is extremely reduced now. Yeah, I poisoned him. I don't know what's the deal with him. I don't wanna... We have another locked area. Okay, well, let's test the fire. You can like stand. But for a couple of seconds, like. Yeah, the amount of damage is not extremely, extremely big. It's good against plants, uh, apparently. So, plants can can be caught on fire. I guess f skeletons as well, because I'm not expecting poison to work on skeletons. If you play divinity, like on divinity, you are healing as a skeleton from a poison or oh, lion. Ah, these weapons, I just love them, bro. These are like an insane amount of damage. This one. On this chest, just 30 gold. We don't even know how much gold we have right now. I'm entering a mountain. You call challenge. I don't know what's the deal with that. I'm headed in the right direction. I don't know what's the deal with the co-op. I thought the game can be played in co-op like fully, but apparently, I guess there are like some... I don't know what to expect here, so I'm going to... I think it's like just... Like some s challenges in co-op. Yeah, these weapons are way too good. They're like just insane. Just spinning like. Right? The 
the regeneration of energy on them is like so... Because basically you are like just... Clicking, clicking, clicking and that's it. Light attacks. I, I'm, I'm not even using like... I'm using a heavy attack just to initiate the fight. These bodies have been looted. Could it be that the bandits fear this mansion passed through here? So, apparently this is the... Ah, okay. I guess this is the bridge. Which I was searching for the traces. Ah, okay, now it updated. I guess this was the bridge. Let's see, because we could interact with this. It seems that the kidnappers left behind quite the bloody trail. Okay. Mountain trail. So the main quest just updated again. Give me your life, bastard. I can say it's extremely easy now. Poison. I'm getting better at this. We got a recipe, I guess. We can craft this. Usually speeds up energy regeneration for a short time, okay. This is for a longer time, but it's like... Okay, so we got some... Um, minus 16. Anyway, our main weapon is... is Poisoning, so we don't really need like the secondary with poison as well because the damage I saw is it was dropping a lot. I like how you because you just see a shrine. Okay, seeing a shrine. He just said he saw a shrine, but I don't know where. I like now because the camera at least is like moving, you know, it's like making it slightly immersive in a way. Just up there. Motherfucking many archers. Both of them were like shooting me. Oh, okay, I think I saw the shrine. Kill the bastard! Look what these archers are doing. Bro. Yeah, that was on one ish. I don't know if you saw that. I can't do it. I was like, <laughs> I thought I'm dead, dead. I swear to God. But you saw how lethal the archers are. He's like. There were like two of them here, and I guess one of them over there. Bloodthirsty lions. It was like just continuously. Yeah, let's move on. Because again, I'm gonna go and explore a lot, so. It's better to keep moving with the main quest, like. my money so 
Soon we're gonna unlock that one as well. And after we can move to the lion. But when I finally meet him, what shall I say? That some boys ordered me to find him? He'll think I'm mad. Fortunately, I don't have to roll some kind of boulder up this hill. So, you're the one who's been slaughtering me men like pigs. Tell me what you want, or you'll get an arrow between your eyes. Supposedly, you and your band hold a smith prisoner here. Is that right? That's none of your business, you stray. Besides, he came here in vain. The guy busted himself out, went inside the mountain, and that's the last we saw of him. In that case, I'll go look for him. Get out of my way, and you shall leave to see another day. You've got balls, I'll give you that. But you're not getting something. There's only one of you, and a whole band of us. Besides, the armor you're wearing looks interesting. Menelaus will pay handsomely for it. And usually I don't like opportunities to pass me by. Kill him! Kill the bastard! Okay, so basically now they want to kill me just for my armor. Okay. Apparently with the armor I'm wearing I know the or archer. That was satisfying. Yeah, I think I'm getting better. Into the inside of the mountain, they must be opened by some kind of lever. I'm feeling like I'm doing some type of speed run now. Kill the bastard! Do it. How much blood? The game is pretty gorish. I like the idea that you can cut their heads off, their limbs off as well, you know what I mean? So actually is uh Interesting. Sorry that my change, uh, my uh, voice is sometimes changing. Uh, I'm just vaping, you know. So sometimes sounds a bit uh, <laughs> awkward, him, I guess. And another one. That was easy. Three archers. They couldn't really move. Uh, I'm gonna be fair with you, the, ga uh, the game seems repetitive, you know what I mean? For me at least, I don't find a challenge in this game. I'm feeling it like when you fight uh, only one, because basically the, the bosses... Should be open now. Okay, so basically the bosses are like just 101 combat from what I encountered till now. Maybe we're gonna find something more complex lately. Uh, later on, but the thing is, like the game looks extremely repetitive. You know what I mean? E even if must be some kind of abandoned stronghold. Collapse. I like the environment. He's moving. The fuck? This guy just ambushed me. As soon as you get the timing, the perfect timing. On, uh, when you're uh, running right click and you get familiar with the uh, a distance you need to, to reach you know like the reach of the weapon it's gonna be like smashing
was das? There's like a mix in between a crab and a spider or something. But I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the combat is not even challenging. You can die, yeah, but look, put it like this, in this game you can... I don't know, I don't wanna shit on this game, you know, that's the only thing. Because I, I, I barely started it, like, we have like 3 hours in, 4 hours in, I don't even know. But the thing is like, this game is so easy, it's extremely easy. The only thing with it is like, sometimes you are overwhelmed by fucking loads of enemies, you know, and... Because the light attacks can slow you down, yeah? Like, stun lock sometimes are, are really stun locking you down. That's the only issue, you know? Because loads of enemies means more, more of the attacks can hit you. As, as soon as you're gonna be like hit by plenty of them, you're gonna be stun locked somehow and yeah, surrounded by enemies, you can die, you know? Because you won't be able to dodge or to roll out because uh, they can body block you, you know? Spear, we have a new spear. I'm, I, I'm not planning to test the spears right now. I'm gonna test the weapons in maybe in the next video. Just waiting to gather more of them. I thought this one was gonna come down. Duff, we have two plants here. I just glitched that one, I was staying there, and because we are not on the same level, she couldn't do shit to me. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with this bridge now? Oh. I'm gonna throw this chain. Okay. Oh, okay, it's working like this. Um. The fuck is wrong with you? And they are like 
don't know what's this. Because uh, he's not looking, he's not looking like poison. Fucking archers again, are you kidding me? Another one here. What the fuck? I need, to, I need to cover myself with this. I threw them on fire. I like this detail, you know. As soon as you lock a target which is above, he's looking on him basically. I'll cleanse myself with your blood. Fucking hell, they are hiding in plain sight this one. So it's a something there. What's up? We have one, two, three enemies. Four enemies. Let's don't forget about the archers. Bro, there are three of them like. I don't know what's the deal. Why they pop up that thing for me? It was like a tutorial, what the fuck? They don't get it. Hearing a rock guy. This is like that motherfucker is doing. He's doing some voodoo shit. Okay, so now. Uh, what's going on now? So, oh, okay, I can't heal this. Ah, okay, so basically. I think this is the curse. This is the dark damage. The curse. That let me see. This dark damage. You know what I mean? I think this is cursing you or this is applying this shit on you. And this shit is like I tried to use a potion and it was supposed to heal me fully, but I guess it's just blocking like 20% of your HP. So I guess that's what Dark is doing. My lord will reward me. Will reward you, bro. Go and see him. Go and pick that. Yeah, so basically, I guess. Yeah, because now we have a black shit coming out from us. So 
I wanna cure this. Remove this shit. Is uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's an awkward noise on the background. A chest there. on this <laughs> yeah let's jump down let's see if we can open this now oh we have a new weapon i guess that's a two hands sword let me see Bind on it plus 55 and 32 damage. This one you have 79. Yeah, this is a very nice weapon. It's like scaling A with strength. Give it a try. Let me heal first. And let's see the movesets on it. Okay, so you have the fourth one is spinning, but I don't have enough energy to reach the fourth one, you know what I mean? That's the same as the previous one. Okay. Yeah, so they have the same moveset. Depending on any enemy here, let's... Try to move on. Anyway, the quest is telling us to go back, so... It was here. It was... It was like just sitting like two meters in, in front of me and he just shot it, the, shot it on the ground with that arrow. I don't know what's wrong with the games, you know, in most of the games, if I can understand it, if an enemy is coming close to you, yeah, oh, this was 345, yeah, but you know, I already see an issue with this weapon, the heavy, look how hard he's recovering from that heavy hit. jump back on my weapons but, uh, even if that one is a uh, is a purple or is the epic one but I don't know what he's setting himself on fire Jesus So the issue with that weapon, I don't have like the damage on it is like insane. Man. It's like 345. Now we are on 250 with this. 
But the only issue is like you're gonna be if you fight if imagine that rock guy. What the fuck? Why so much damage? Uh, that uh, rock soldier, he's low as fuck, and he, I, I wasn't able to roll out, you know what I mean, or to dodge it, just because the consumption on that weapon, on that heavy, is like so annoying, maybe I'm gonna try to use it, Let's see. I need to find a... Single opponent. Okay, this is perfect. Deal with this one. How is working? So, I can't really dodge you out. Okay. Wait, man. Yeah. See, I. I... Two hundred damage. Would there be any more of you? He's missing. What weapon is it? Bro, what the fuck is wrong with this? What weapon is missing a lot. Okay, one swing is. Okay, so I can. Oh, it has a nice cleave, like a nice frontal cleave. Right? This one is like the energy consumption on it is pretty pretty high. So basically as soon as you if you are doing like a running attack and you, you hit the ground. Look as for example I don't mind doing this and look how much time I'm I'm spamming space. Yeah so look. You are going and attack and bam. And now look. You saw how much time you spent on just that attack. So basically you are spending like 1.5 to 2 seconds locked in that fucking animation, you know what I mean? It's just... That one, holy... It's just a bit... I don't know, it's a bit lame, I guess. It's a... Uh, I don't know. I'm not... The damage on it is... Yeah, it's fucking nice. I'm thinking if you scale it with strength, because it's, it's scaling A with strength and with wrath C. So basically, if you scale it with strength, if you have like loads of strength, yeah, I guess this weapon is amazing. We're gonna test it later on, because right now... Not in the mood of taking damage. Look how much damage we took just from. And I don't wanna reset it even if. Let me see this. Okay, so this one is actually healing. Ah, okay, but it's healing slowly, like it's a regeneration. You have no fall damage, so that's good. Let's see if I missed something here. Oh, another. Oh my fucking god, guys. What the fuck we are fighting there? You remember the guy who fucking slashed me in the last episode? Fuck that shit. That motherfucker will kill me now. How the fuck am I supposed to face that fucker, bro? Is 
250 damage, you know, it's not like a massive difference, like. I wasn't missing. That's what he asked us. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? So. Ah, uh, we need to fight this fucker, bro. Not this invisible motherfucker again, bro. What the fuck? Oh, okay, we can see him. Bro, show me where the fuck he is. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, so we just. Yeah, this was the motherfucker who killed me earlier. There some opponents exactly the same type. But I saw that slashes. But the amount of damage that motherfucker did was insane, bro. Okay, so now we can see them, actually. Yeah, but we can what the fuck we can still we can still unlock this yeah I wanna go for the lion now because I want some you know probably store a small amount of life yeah I want to do that I want this hidden opponent with an attack restores a part of a hill is recently lost health points. Recent lost health points are marked yellow. I want, to be fair with you, I want this. Each attack in a combo increase the damage dealt. And if we use like the dual wielding, this will, this damage will go like bazinga. I don't know, 1024 HP. Are you kidding me? This one is a interesting one. Yeah, let's go for some endurance because maybe like that we're gonna be able to use the the dual wielding that uh, dual wielding that uh, two hand sword. You know what I mean? Even though, if you see, him, I spoke about the um, I, I spoke about all this. In the first episode, yeah, as soon as we spotted it, we, we had like a in-depth first look, you know what I mean? And we analyzed all the skills. I want to go for this, for sure. But right now, I want to invest more in vitality. I, I think I'm going to go for the lion. And after I'm going to continue with the... Because with the lion, you're going to get like... Endurance here, another point of endurance here, another point of endurance here, endurance again, endurance again, and the line is fully endurance. So basically, I guess after this, we'll be able to use the two hands sword properly. I hope so. And we're gonna see what path we're gonna choose from that point on. I don't know if I want to reset myself. Yeah, let's rest because I'm curious if we're going to get rid of the... Yeah, we got rid of that activity. Curse, like, you know, which was limiting our HP. And look, you see how fucked up it is? Bronze shard, see? If you want to... I, I just put it so if if you wanna farm that shit, you know bronze shard, yeah you just rest here, you press escape. And now all you do is go get that thing again. Ah, it's not here anymore. Okay, so that's working just with plants actually. Go ahead, brothers. 
Yeah, now I found all the enemies on the map, so. What's here? During battle, these narrow passages would have been great for defense. Even my myrmidons would have trouble capturing this place. Yeah, earlier I've been on that one. No sign of the smith. Maybe he just. Another one. Yeah, earlier we've been there. It's nice. We fair to sure the game has nice graphics, you know what I mean? What the fuck? Oh, damn. Motherfuckers left. He fooled me. I, I I went for it. I thought it's just one hit. You know what I mean? And I I've been baited there. That was a nice shield bash. The physics on these games are like fine, you know. Ragdolls physics on these games are like pretty decent. Another shit shield. Now I have this motherfucker. The crabs are interesting, but the fuck? I think it's a skill. Wait. Where the fuck is this? Ah, here. Hey, we can set our weapons on fire. Let me see. Where's this weapon? Yeah, the damage is increased now. Yeah, we're doing way more damage now. What the fuck? Again a motherfucker like that. Let me see what he did. Yeah, again a... Yeah, but now we don't have the black shit. Cause earlier was giving us... Bro, I don't wanna get hit by... They are rewarding us one skill point, which is quite decent. Yeah, to look here. We have just this chest. Yeah, so basically, I don't know. It's a. Uh... I think I can see the end of this tunnel. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna be able to. Because I seen 
on this map it was just turning our screen you know dark so we can see them but when I encounter that one over there the screen was like staying normal and that's what's a, a bit confusing maybe we're gonna get some skill and I guess he's the blacksmith Yeah, and beside that, he lost your tools, idiot, and I had to recover them, you fucking dickhead. So he cares about his apprentice, but he don't give a shit about us. You know what I mean? So let me see if we explored everything in this shit. Yeah, it was an interesting dungeon, like. I'm still confused with, you know, the guys which we encounter here, the demon shit. I was expecting him to tell me something about it, you know, like... These luminous circles are quite useful. I've been seeing them more frequently in the area. <sighs> listen. Listen, if you need my help... I need to know whether you're not just another glory and loot seeking brawler. Grease has enough of them already. How am I supposed to prove that? Hmm. In an old temple, not far from here, people have been disappearing. I don't know if they've been kidnapped by some bandits, or if there is a beast lurking in there. I want you to solve that problem. I am not your errand boy. And it isn't my duty to help you until I see that you do something for the common folk. <sighs> I'll check that place out. Stay behind. And don't let yourself get captured again. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll make my way to the smithy shortly. We will see each other there once you're done. Oh, one more thing. When you return, use the shortcut at the end of the pass. Just don't forget to throw the ladder down. The oaks who dragged me here said they use it a lot. No time yeah, okay. to waste. Go to the temple and take care of whatever you find in there. We will see each other in the smithy. Okay, so we need to find... Abandoned temple. Okay, let's move on. Why 
What the fuck? They make me bleed like Bro just free dogs if they are surrounding you Fuck another venture ahead of me and I have even more questions and fewer answers the dead rising from their graves monsters I've known only from legends prowling the roads soldiers under a man whom I trusted want to kill me and his damned apparitions it felt like they were looking for me okay, so that apparitions were like looking for him yeah that's why I stopped it because I saw he was like still talking so let's invest like hmm. And from what I saw, we can invest more points into Vitality as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like three nodes, you see, on each. Because basically what I'm thinking, each node of these have like three points. Because look, you have another one here and another one here. So basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eleven, no, four here. There were like 11 here, from what I remember. 20... Uh, oh, 11 plus 4 is 15. 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 25, yeah. So we have a total, total of 25 multiplied by 3, 75 multiplied by 26. That's... We're gonna get around 2.3k each back. HP, I guess. 2.5, around 2.5. 2500 HP. Are you kidding me? But right now, let's move on with endurance. Let's rest. Because I want everything replenished. Because he's sending us to an old temple or something like that. Find the abandoned temple. Oh, not again this area, bro. It will rush up there somehow. Leave me be, you fucker. Where the fuck are you running, you can? Another one there. Apparently, he cannot reach us because he's down below. Yes. Let's move on. Check this. What the fuck? From where the fuck he came? Too fast. Get him! How many are coming? For oh, fuck's sake, bro! Give me your money. Look, he, he's interrupting me from healing, but you fucking can't. This, this fucking buff, it's useless, bro. It's like... I don't really get this buff. It's like you have it for 20 seconds at max. Like, it's a... I don't know. The soon will vanish. Where the fuck they are coming? 
I don't understand why my weapons are not... What weapons I have? I don't know why my weapons are not... I'm not poisoning them anymore. How many of them are? Like three enemies just in this area. And all of them are like the big ones. Yeah, thanks bro. Let me use a let me charge this fucking idiot. I can't do this. Okay, so basically, we have to chest. So basically, I think I'm gonna switch this skill. We have a poisonous what? Thirty-eight. So this is doing even more damage. This is upgraded to level three, and this is like. Oh, and we have the bleed weapon as well. Causes bleed. Okay, let me see something. Because if I'm equipping this sword with this sack, me attack. Because I know now the numbers will change. This one is way better. But let me see. This and let's see now the attack. Oh, attack moves are shit. Yeah, the attack moves are shit. Switching back to my previous ones. Cause I'm I'm happy with poison like even though yes yeah but let let the poison because I don't mind the poison to be fair with you yeah and my weapons are still fast. That will do it for me. Let's see what we have here. Let's go down. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Oh, Now, just because I saw that shit there, I want to loot it. Give me your money, bastard. Oh, how many fucking archers are here? Four in a row. I like the camera shifting. Yeah, okay, now I'm taking a different path. Why I'm doing this, I don't know. See, that's why I love this weapon. Okay, you have a eight. Yes, yeah, okay, we have a lever. What the fuck is wrong with this one? 
I just unstucked him with a hit from the. I stuck him from the. Was this bugged in the texture? Ah, oh, okay, so we can open it. It's good we open the gate at least. Yeah, this one is connecting to this, I guess. Yeah, let's move on on that one. I hope I'm gonna find a safe point. Oh, okay, a shrine. Ah. Exactly, that's what I was saying. I hope I'm gonna find a... So now we're going to restore Fury as well. But, uh, basically, we're going to restore, restore Fury on each hit. So let's see how it's working. Because we have this skill. I don't know if I'm happy with this. Just because the buff is so shitty, you know. The buff is interesting. I don't mind it. Nice bird. Oh, another grief. Come here, worm. Yeah, we are restoring because I see now I can use this skill. Let's see if I can set this fucker on fire. Yeah. Yeah, so now he's taking poison and and fire as well. But unfortunately, not all the enemies are like, so, I don't know, it's, it's, for this one, it's like, it was easy this to set like the entrance to that temple. Go to this. I feel a piercing cold in this place. Yeah, we are restoring loads of wrath now. Of fury, like. Yeah, and having like, having a dual wielding, it's pro. It's like, like an exploit. But wait, because I have an idea. Let's. I don't mind this shit, but let's keep using it. Test it a bit more. This must be the missing people the smith mentioned. Agreed to take care of this matter. I'm certain you'll handle it. Each of your men is worth five of Menelaus' soldiers. Take the armor I managed to rustle up. You have to arrange weapons yourselves. Somewhere in those ruins, the bandits must have their hideout. Kill them all, with no exception. Now I'm giving you an advance. You'll get the other half when you finish the job. Maybe I should find out more about this. Skeleton King Talk.
What are you doing here? What happened to them? I... I killed them! Get it? I killed them! <laughs> I... That voice made me do it! Keeps piercing my mind like a bloody dagger! I can't take it anymore! You're a stranger here. A stranger in the Lord's home. Your death shall please him. What the fuck is wrong with you, my friend? Uh, all this is first or something. The skeleton king was talking to us, and he was like, he felt the same or some shit. I couldn't really hear him. And I. Uh, guess that motherfucker wa was once a human or something. Set skeletons on fire pretty fast. Too fast. Yes, so actually in this, I don't know, I think in this, okay, in this dungeon, it's some curse, bring some curse or something. Okay, I managed to break that one. See what we'll find here. Stop it, okay? So it's a spear skill that one. I'm not gonna be like. I'm gonna test it at one point, but. This must be the Not now. They just want to finish this as soon as possible. All my men are dead. 
This place is cursed. I can hear their steps. Dozens, no less. They're coming from the top and bottom. They were supposed to be common bandits and not these corpses. They won't take me alive. Gods, forgive me for what I'm about to do. Every warrior is nothing against many. Well, almost every warrior. Yeah, well, almost every warrior. What the fuck we are doing, bro? We are smashing everything inside. So. I guess you heard like uh, I don't know if you check the uh, what uh, he said. Usually I'm, I'm talking when Achilles is speaking, like just because I want to hear the the story, and I hope you guys will hear it as well. I don't want to kill you, motherfucker. Get the fuck down. I want to see if I can remove the curse, and maybe because because he was telling us he is hearing voices. Yeah, here. Okay, but this is the end of the... Oh, this is the skeleton king. Okay. Summons more as soon as we kill them. Yes, if we kill this one, you'll summon more of them. Let me tell. Okay, and as soon as we, we kill him, the summons are dying. Okay. Now let's go back to that idiot. It's basically now we remove the curse, I guess. We kill the skeleton king. And let's see if this idiot is still attacking. Oh. I'm always thinking on game mechanics and shit, you know. Because if this game, if if it was proper developing, involved into this shit, they was making like a fucking thing like if you remove the curse, uh, that guy was like calming down and you could talk with him, you know what I mean? But I think I'm expecting too many shits from the developers nowadays. Developers nowadays are just shit, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying about this game, I'm saying about most of the games, you know? Tell me the last game which you really enjoyed playing. I bet it's like, just leave it in the comments. Tell me what was the best game you played in last five, four, last five years. Because I know I, I enjoyed like a lot Red Dead Redemption 2, I enjoyed Witcher, I enjoyed Cyberpunk was decent, you know, but it was like very, very glitchy and shit you know and i didn't have patience with it in the because when, when when cyberpunk came out it was like i think i finished the game anyway but the the thing was like it was so fucking glitchy you're you're driving a car and suddenly you're going through texture i was like driving a motorcycle and suddenly my guy was like standing up on on it and it was like deposing you know i was like what the fuck is this thing bro uh, Dying Light 2, I enjoyed Dying Light 2. I really enjoyed that game, even though I didn't finish it. But it was an extremely nice game. I played it like for... I don't know. I think I, I, I played more than half of it, you know, and I really enjoyed that game. 
I didn't manage to finish it because I uh, reinstalled my Windows and uh, but after that I was like, nah, I'm not gonna play it again. You know? I just remembered that. Moments after the deadly strike reached me, I began to plunge into the abyss. I thought I was falling, but I was actually drowning. Drowning surrounded by the cavernous darkness of the water's depths. And even though my lungs were filled with water and my body was overcome by the cold, I did not die. That was quite useful. It's you. We ducked at the cemetery. I didn't expect to see you here. Someone has to take care of these places. Abandoned. Full of memories and pain. Times have changed and death, like life, is worth little more than a handful of ashes. You look quite pale. Are you all right? No. Not entirely. Lately, I've been seeing some... apparitions. They look like they don't belong in this world. Where did they come from? The apparitions you encounter on your journey are suspended between the kingdoms of the living and of the dead. They must be finding their way here in places where the line between the worlds is thinnest. Why are they haunting me? They're looking for souls who avoided judgment and returned to the world of the living. Souls? Does that mean I'm dead? That would explain why you lost your memory and you can see things others can't. Not only do I see them, but I can feel more than before. The shrines you mentioned are drawing you toward them, as if I became a part of them. They connect the world of the living and the underworld. It seems that your soul got split between these two kingdoms, and that's why it is drawn to the shrines. I don't understand. If I'm dead, why would I return to the living? It seems you've been given another chance. And there is something important ahead for you to do. I have a piece of advice for you. Try to focus on your goal. That will help you in times of doubt. So, this was the priest which we met immediately after the, uh, the fight with uh, Paris, you know? When we basically died and we were like revived on that uh, in the beginning of the game basically uh, so vision gift for some reason you have started seeing creatures and objects that do not belong to this world use this ability to gain an advantage while battling the raid and to find traces and obstacle hidden from mortal eyes however not that the longer you use it the more health you lose Okay, so this comes with a... Okay. Uh, you use this ability at the cost of your own health. Vision gift. So now if you press R... Ah, okay, the things are highlighted. Okay, that's interesting. So basically, now, ah, okay, you, we can like break through this now. Yeah, that's marvelous. Yeah, but I'm gonna go and save down here. And we're gonna continue in the next episode.